was a disturbing crime and the emotions showed outside of the courtroom. Family members of a murdered woman and the man accused of killing her clashed and they're going to be back in court today. Local force Lauren Podell is joining us live now this morning and Lauren, uh, let's hope things don't get as out of hand as they did last time. Oh, it was quite the scene outside of the courthouse last time, Evrod, and police there, security from the courthouse, had to break that fight up. Two men were arrested before everything kind of scattered about. Um, but today could be another emotional day. We have a preliminary exam scheduled. All of these families will be back there as details of this tragic case could be talked about. Two, dude, you bad? A brawl between the families of the victim and the accused. Oh, you threatened me. That's you why I you punched him in the face. You were walking out and pushed him. No, I didn't. Yes, you, yes, you, you did. did. I, I, I did not push him. This is what happened the last time 23 year old Jacob Barnes and 16 year old Jeremy Lee were in court. Both accused of killing 29 year old Amanda Benton, who was five months pregnant. Both charged with premeditated murder earlier this month. What gets to me the most is the brutality. They beat her in the face so bad, they snapped my daughter's neck. They were driving around with her in the trunk of the car, and I pray to God that my daughter was already gone before they set her afire. After Amanda was reported missing, her body was found dumped in an abandoned home in Detroit. Tragic details that could be brought up in court today when both Barnes and Lee face a judge for their preliminary exam. Last time, it didn't take long for emotions to boil over in court and outside of it. As all of these families try to cope with how their lives have drastically changed. Killing a little innocent baby like that. I would, to my dying day, will never forgive. Now, if today's preliminary exam does go as scheduled and the defendants don't waive their right to the preliminary exam, what happened during this murder could be dredged up, discussed in open court to determine if there's enough evidence to take this case to trial. It is scheduled for 11 this morning at Frank Murphy Hall of Justice. Reporting live, Lauren Podell, Local 4 News Today. And we'll definitely be there to let you know exactly what happens. Thank you, Lauren. Uh, if convicted, the accused could face up to life in prison.